The strengths and weaknesses of Botswana. Welcome to the store and thanks for watching. In this video, we shall be looking at the strengths and weaknesses of the beautiful country of Botswana. Botswana is a landlocked country in Southern Africa. Botswana is topographically flat, with up to 70% of its territory being the Kalahari Desert. It is bordered by South Africa to the south and southeast, Namibia to the west and north, and Zimbabwe to the northeast. A mid sized country of just over 2.3 million people, Botswana is one of the most sparsely populated countries in the world. Around 10% of the population lives in the capital and larger city, Gaborong. If you would like more information on Botswana, check out these videos on our channel. 10 things you didn't know about Botswana, how Botswana rose from grass to grace, 10 places to visit in Botswana, and more. Just click on the cards on your screen to watch. Botswana has both strengths and weaknesses, and in this video we will explore both in order to make valid judgments on the country. The strengths of the African nation Botswana are the internal aspects of the country, either natural or man-made which helps or fosters the country's growth. The weaknesses on the other hand are internal aspects that hinder the country's improvement and are strikes which make a nation less attractive to investors, foreigners, and most importantly, its citizens. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. So let's kick off this video on a positive note with the strengths of Botswana. Number 1. Strong External Position One thing that determines if a country is internally strong depends on its external debt ratios to export value, and Botswana has set itself distinctive in that aspect. Botswana's external creditor position remains comfortable as unlike most African nations, its debts are manageable. Botswana also has $8 billion in foreign exchange reserves, which cover 11 months of imports and ensures the country doesn't run flat anytime soon. Public debt is low at 14% of GDP, with 28% of exports and interest, and debt service ratios are excellent. Number 2. Mining Industries Botswana is one of the biggest mining industries in the world. Debswana, the largest diamond mining company operating in Botswana, is 50% owned by the government. The mineral industry provides about 40% of all government revenues. In 2007, significant quantities of uranium were discovered, and mining was projected to begin by 2010. Several international mining corporations have established regional headquarters in Botswana and prospected for diamonds, gold, uranium, copper, and even oil, many coming back with positive results. Botswana's Orapa mine is the largest diamond mine in the world in terms of value and quantity of carats produced annually. Estimated to have produced over 11 million carats in 2013, with an average price of $155 per carat, the Orapa mine was estimated to produce over $1.6 billion worth of diamonds in 2013. Number 3. Ecological Potentials Botswana has diverse areas of wildlife habitat. In addition to the delta and desert areas, there are grasslands and savannas, where blue wild beasts, antelopes, and other mammals and birds are found. Northern Botswana has one of the few remaining large populations of the endangered African wild dog. Chobe National Park found in the Chobe district has the world's largest concentration of African elephants. The park covers 11,000 km square and supports about 350 species of birds. Other reserves include the Central Kalahari Game Reserve located in the Kalahari Desert in Nganzi district. Makadikadi Pens National Park and Saipan National Park are in Central District in the Makadikadi Pen. There are also specialized sanctuaries like Camarino Sanctuary and Makadikadi Sanctuary for Flamingos. All this ecological diversity provides great touristic potentials and also nation preservation for future generations. Number 4. Political Stability Formerly the British Protectorate of Bechuana Land, Botswana adopted its name after becoming independent within the Commonwealth on the 30th of September 1966. Since then, it has been a representative republic with a consistent record of uninterrupted democratic elections and the lowest perceived corruption ranking in Africa since at least 1998. It is currently Africa's oldest continuous democracy. Botswana's stable political environment includes a multi-party democratic tradition with general elections held every five years. The ruling Botswana Democratic Party has been in power since 1966. In October 23, 2019, Botswana held its 11 general elections, with His Excellency President Mugwitsi Eric Masasi assuming the presidency. Number 5. 
economic growth and improved standards of living. Formerly one of the poorest countries in the world, with a GDP per capita of about 70 US dollars per year in the late 1960s, Botswana has since transformed itself into an upper middle income country with one of the world's fastest growing economies. The economy is dominated by mining, cattle, and tourism. Botswana boasts a GDP per capita of about $18,825 per year as of 2015, which is one of the highest in Africa. Its high gross national income by some estimates the fourth largest in Africa, which gives the country a relatively high standard of living and the highest human development index of continental sub-Saharan Africa. Botswana has enjoyed strong and stable growth since independence, with sizable fiscal buffers and prudent policies playing a key role in shielding the economy. Botswana's competitive banking system is one of Africa's most advanced, generally adhering to global standards in the transparency of financial policies and banking supervision. The financial sector provides ample access to credit for entrepreneurs. Poverty has fallen significantly, and the share of the population living on less than $1.90 a day at the 2011 purchasing power parity declined steadily from 29.8% to 18.2% between 2003 and 2010 and to 16.1% in 2015 to 2016. This rapid poverty reduction can be attributed mainly to a combination of increasing agricultural incomes, including subsidies, demographic changes, diversification of the economy and improved GDP, which has led the country to have one of the highest GDP per capita in Africa. Number 6. The Tourism Boom Primarily, Tourists visit Gaborone due to the city having numerous activities for visitors. The Lion Park Resort is Botswana's first permanent amusement park and hosts events such as birthday parties for families. Other destinations in Botswana include the Gaborone Yacht Club and the Kalahari Fishing Club and natural attractions such as the Gaborone Dam and Mokolodi Nature Reserve. There are golf courses which are maintained by the Botswana Golf Union. The Pakalan Golf Estate is a multi-million dollar clubhouse that offers both hotel accommodations and access to golf courses. Museums in Botswana include Botswana National Museum in Gaborone, Gosi Bathro and Tool Museum in Kanye, Gosi Seychelles 1 Museum in Molipololi, Kama 3 Memorial Museum in Serowe, Nabe Museum in Maun, Puthadikobo Museum in Mochuli, Supangwana Museum Center in Francis Town. All these and more have boosted the tourism industry in Botswana. Number 7. Science and Technology Botswana is planning to use science and technology to diversify its economy and thereby reduce its dependence on diamond mining. To this end, the government has set up six herbs since 2008 in the agriculture, diamonds, innovation, transport, health and education sectors. Botswana published its updated National Policy on Research, Science and Technology in 2011 within a UNESCO project sponsored by the Spanish Agency for International Cooperation and Development. This policy aims to take up the challenges of rapid technological evolution, globalization, and the achievement of the National Development Goals formulated in high-level strategic documents that include Botswana's 10th National Development Plan 2016 and Vision 2016. In 2009, Botswana-based company Devtronics launched a solar-powered hearing aid after six years of prototype development. Since then, Devtronics has sold over 10,000 of its hearing aids. Priced at $200 per unit, each hearing aid includes four rechargeable batteries lasting up to three years and a solar charger for them. The product is inexpensive compared to many similar devices that start from around $600. The weaknesses of Botswana Number 1. Vulnerability to fluctuations in external demand for diamonds An export diversification program has failed so far. In 2012, the share of diamonds in total exports grew to 81%. Despite the established economic diversification drive, the government has failed to diversify its exports so far. Although mining remains a major contributor to GDP, its contribution declined to 196 in 2012 compared to 24.7 in 2011. However, this decline was due to weakened global demand for diamonds in 2012, leading to a decrease of both rough and polished diamond prices with over 10%. This resulted in a 15% decrease in the value of rough diamond sales. Botswana's diamond reserves are expected to decline sharply from 2020 onwards. However, 
Recent constructions by the BS will extend the life of Botswana's diamond mines to at least 2028. Since Botswana's economy is currently very dependent on diamond mining, more progress in diversifying the economy is needed to ensure long-term macroeconomic and fiscal stability. Number 2. Environmental Problems Botswana faces two major environmental problems, drought and desertification, which are heavily linked. Three quarters of the country's human and animal populations depend on groundwater due to drought. Groundwater used through deep borehole drilling has somewhat eased the effects of drought. Surface water is scarce in Botswana and less than 5% of the agriculture in the country is sustainable by rainfall. In the remaining 95% of the country, raising livestock is the primary source of rural income. Approximately 71% of the country's land is used for communal grazing, which has been a major cause of desertification and accelerating soil erosion of the country. Land degradation is exacerbated by the effects of drought and climate change. Environmentalists report that the Okavango Delta is drying up due to the increased grazing of livestock, given so many people in Botswana own cattle. The Okavango Delta is one of the major semi-forested wetlands in Botswana and one of the largest inland deltas in the world. It is a crucial ecosystem for the survival of many animals. Number 3. Prevalence of HIV AIDS the country has been among the hardest hit by the HIV AIDS pandemic. Despite the success in programs to make treatments available to those infected and to educate the populace in general about how to stop the spread of HIV AIDS, the number of people with AIDS rose from 290,000 in 2005 to 320,000 in 2013. As of 2014, Botswana has the third highest prevalence rate for HIV AIDS, with roughly 20% of the population infected. Number 4. Human Rights Problems Many of the indigenous San people have been forcibly relocated from their land to reservations. To make them relocate, they were denied access to water on their land and faced arrest if they hunted, which was their primary source of food. Their lands lie in the middle of the world's richest diamond field. Officially, the government denies that there is any link to mining and claims the relocation is to preserve the wildlife and ecosystem even though the San people have lived sustainably on the land for millennia. On the reservations, they struggle to find employment and alcoholism is rampant. On the 24th of August 2018, the UN Special Rapporteur on Minorities, Fernando Varanez, issued a statement calling on Botswana to step up efforts to recognize and protect the rights of minorities in relation to public services, land and resource use, and the use of minority languages in education and other critical areas. Until June 2019, homosexuality was illegal in Botswana. Conclusion No matter the continent in the world, every country has its weaknesses as well as its strengths. Known as a perfect nation, and each and every nation just strives to minimize the weaknesses in order to be a better nation for its citizens. No matter what anyone says, any country strives to protect its citizens before any country has a given neighbor. Hence, what is seen as weak by the outsiders might rather be serving the citizens well, and so we can never be 100% completely sure when it comes to internal affairs of a country. There you have it, the explorers. Those were the strengths and weaknesses of Botswana. Thanks for watching this video. If you did enjoy, do want to give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends.